Hi, welcome to Non Dual Therapy. I had an individual who was kind enough to allow me to film myself during a session with DMT that we had. Now, I had previously worked with this person and I was curious to see if the same type of phenomenon was about to occur. He was kind to allow me to film myself and it did happen again. So to set the scene, I have him lying down in front of me and I am standing at his feet. Now, the first time I ever worked with DMT with somebody, uh, I've already shared, but you know, my, there was like a magnetic pull on my feet that I had to stand in a certain place. So my being needs to mirror the other person. So I stand at the foot of them and we're completely symmetrical with each other. Symmetry is very important in this work. And my job or task is to do as little as possible. You know, nothing, just do nothing. And the energy that arises through the medicine out of me is, it's not by my choice or my will. My will comes from allowing the medicine to do its thing. Now, um, just, I'm gonna show you what happened and then I'll, I'll share my thoughts about it and my feedback that I received. There is like about 10 seconds in, I do this awkward look at the camera. So I break symmetry and I look at the camera. You know, my initial thought for that was, wow, it's actually happening again. And then I have all new gear. Like I got a new camera, I got a new mic, everything. And then I had this thought like, oh shit, did I even plug in the mic? So I take a look at the camera and and I, can, I can't really see if it's plugged in or not from where I am. And then there's just this welling up of energy that needs to be expressed. So then I just jump back into symmetry and it just let it out. So that's what that look is for when I look off into the camera. But anyway, here, take a look. Okay, so, so after this happened, I sat back down and I just waited for the individual to finish. Um, There's about three minutes or so of just him lying there still with nothing happening. I had asked myself when the energy died down if I should take some more and the answer came back no. So I just simply sat down and I waited. 
Now, working with this individual initially, they had um, given me the feedback that, because this happened, this happened a second time now. And the first time, they didn't know if I was singing or if he was singing. So he opened his eyes and he could see that I was singing. And uh, well, I call it singing, but it was more singing the first time rather than the second time. His initial experience, he described it as, you know, him seeing a bunch of shapes. There was a bunch of beautiful colored shapes, or sorry, yeah, beautiful colored shapes. And, you know, that was it. It was like, and then he described my part of it, my singing was just kind of like guiding him in a sense. So then this time around, he said that he was kind of flying through universes and my voice was showing him where to look. So there's all this stuff happening, but I was guiding him in a sense of showing him where to look. Like he said, it just kept on going forever. It just kept going and going and going. So as he was going, 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 I was kind of directing him or guiding him on where to look. That's what my voice was doing. Now on my end, my only job is to just let it out. Just whatever the expression needs to happen, I just do that. I just let it happen. I don't know what's going to happen because the energy is, it's in the moment. It's, I don't have like this like, like schedule or I don't have like an itinerary. It's just whatever happens, happens. But, you know, it's interesting to get this feedback because, you know, I don't know what's happening, but clearly I'm affecting the situation in some form. So by me standing at the foot of him and we're symmetrical, we are operating as like a symbiotic unit. Like we become, it's non-dual therapy. It's we become one thing. And the goal is to allow the individual to go through whatever they need to go through. That's all I'm here for. And if I'm a part of that, then great. And if there's nothing for me to do, then I will sit down. And I've had sessions where you know, I take a big hit of 5-MeO and then I just sit back down and I was like, okay, <laughs> this is, uh, I remember the first time that happened, I was like, okay, this is a possibility. So, but anyway, I just wanted to share that. That's it. Thanks for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and I'll uh, see you on the next one. Take care.